joined the Nixon administration in 1969 and later served as U.S. Secretary Rumsfeld oversaw the war on terror and the invasion of Afghanistan and Iraq. It's a sweet place to welcome you to the National Press. <laughs> and John Donnelly, a defense reporter with Congressional Quarterly, and a and though we've made considerable progress in the years since September 11th, the enemy, while weakened and under great pressure to be sure, is still capable of global reach, still possesses the, de the determination to kill more Americans, and still trying to do so with increasingly powerful weapons. On February 16th, actor Richard Dreyfuss will address Hollywood's view of today's media. We know that the enemy is unrelenting, its attacks, indiscriminate. Its motivations, evil. Propelled by a militant ideology that celebrates murder and suicide, with no territory to defend, with little to lose, they will either succeed in changing our way of life, or we'll succeed in changing theirs. Come up to me. I will ask as many as time permits. And Roosevelt, ground forces report for this. For this question of rights. Mr. Rumsfeld, you this is question are a right. criminal. Explain you to me how the uh, war on terror. Right. You are torturing people. Uh, sure. You are, are signing off on Take torture. Care. It's uh, happening. Uh, this uh, world needs to wake up and stop this war. If you think about it, free people uh, elect people, and they then see a system that, that has corruption, and it's disturbing to them. And as a result, we've seen some populist uh, leadership appealing to masses of people in those countries, and, and elections like Eva, Evo Morales in, in Bolivia take place um, that clearly are worrisome. I mean, it, it, you, we've got Chavez in Venezuela with a lot of oil money. He said he's a person who uh, was elected legally just as um, Adolf Hitler was elected legally. And, and then consolidated power, and, and now is, of course, working closely with Fidel Castro and, and uh, Mr. Morales and others. Uh, it concerns me. I think that people, uh, the natural state of people is to want to be free. And, and uh, so any system that is not a free system, political and economic free system, I think is, is unlikely to give them the kinds of opportunities that they can have in a free system. And the immediate past president of the National Press Club. I think the, the characterization of what's happening in Latin America as anti-American is probably it misses the mark. Um, in this sense, y y we saw dictatorships there, and then we saw most of those countries, with the exception of um, Cuba, for the most part, move towards democracies. We also saw corruption in that part of the world. And corruption is something that is corrosive of democracy. If you think about it, free people uh, elect people, and they then see a system that, that has corruption, and it's disturbing to them. <laughs> in a sense, it made me sound like I can't hold a job. <laughs> it's nice to see these folks at the head table.